Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And we have patients come to us uh, literally from all over the world with a variety of inner ear disorders such as vertigo. Now, what is vertigo? Well, vertigo is a uh, whirling or a dizzy sensation, uh, lack of balance that uh, stems from something going on in the inner ear. Now, most of the time, they go and they look at the ear and they don't see anything wrong with the ear, okay? So by first glance, the ear seems to be okay, but yet there's definitely something that is creating this imbalance within the brain and within your ear um, that uh, just doesn't show its head. Now, what we have found is most of the time, uh, I'm gonna say almost 100% of the time, that when there's no damage done to the ear, that it comes from something a little deeper down inside the upper part of the neck uh, that is affecting the vestibular cochlear nerve. So you have 12 cranial nerves, right? There are no nerves that come off the brain that go to the head, face, and neck. You have 12 cranial nerves that come down here off the brain stem, go back up inside the skull, and then they innervate your eyes, your vision, your taste, your smell, your hearing, and your balance. One of those nerves is called the vestibular cochlear nerve. It starts off as one nerve leaving the brain stem and it goes to the inner ear and it'll branch off into a vestibular branch and a cochlear branch. The cochlear branch is your hearing and the vestibular branch uh, controls your balance. So what we have found is there's nothing necessarily wrong with the ear itself but the message leaves the perfectly good ear and says everything is okay, right? Now it has to send that message to the brain to tell the brain everything's okay. But somewhere between the brain, the ear and the brain, the message gets altered or distorted. And so the brain doesn't recognize, you get one message from one side, a different message from the other side, and it causes the brain to be confused which creates the sense of dizziness or being off balance. How does that happen? Well, right at the upper two bones, where that brain stem comes through there, if one of the bones gets a little bit out of position, it will literally put pressure at the spot where that nerve comes into the brain stem so that by the time it's transmitted to the brain, it's a different message. So that alters what the brain receives, thus creating the sense of dizziness, lack of balance. Now, there's medications that might temporarily mask that sensation. From my experience, they don't work very well. Um, the best thing to do would obviously be to get to that ultimate cause of that dizziness. Create or remove the cause, the dizziness should then clear up. So if you have vertigo, dizziness, try to find someone, try to find an upper cervical doctor to go in and analyze the upper part of the neck, the brain stem area where that vestibular cochlear nerve goes to the brain and see if there's a problem there. Within just a few minutes, uh, a good upper cervical doctor should be able to identify the problem and explain to you what needs to be done now to correct it so that the pressure comes off of that vestibular cochlear nerve, the normal message leaving the ear arrives at the brain, Normally, thus everything should start to level out. By the way, if you have a bone out of line on the top of your neck, there's no pain perception there. So you don't have to have neck pain or headaches or any other symptom beyond the dizziness. Now you could, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's the case. So if you have vertigo, dizziness, do yourself a favor, find an upper cervical doctor near you. If you live in the Charlotte area, that includes South Carolina, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, all of the Charlotte, Pineville, Matthews, uh, Belmont, Gastonia, Huntersville, Cornelius. If you live in this area, we're the office for you. My name is Dr. Drury. Call our office at 704-588-5560. We never charge for the initial consultation to see if you might have an upper cervical problem. If you do, then we'll explain to you exactly what we need to do to correct it, make sure it goes away, and help you get over the vertigo, the dizziness in your life. So I hope this video helps you a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free. Just call our office. We'll be happy to sit down and talk to you about your condition. Uh, and I hope you have a great day. And we look forward to meeting you.